Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Tire Talk. Andrew here with Fitment Industries. We are looking at the Otsu FP7000 today. So right off the bat, I wanna state that this is not a stance tire. You don't stretch it, run this thing at your proper size. Now it's also a budget tire. So of course we wanna show you the ultra high performance, nice summer tires. And we wanna be able to show you the winter stuff in the winter. And then this is just a classic all season tire that's at a great value. So to jump into this bad boy, this is going to be a non-directional tire. So if we look at the tread pattern, you'll see kind of a V shape on one side, swooping up and another V uh, swooping down. So the good thing for you guys is that you don't have to uh, rotate only one, one way just from front to back. You can actually flip the tire itself if you're new to non-directional tires. So you're gonna get extended life out of this thing, which is pretty cool, but it's already an inexpensive tire. So one of the best things about the O2 lineup is that it is just simply an inexpensive tire. Now the O2 brand follows uh, falls under the uh, Sumo Tumo line, uh, which is also under Federal. So Federal is of course the high performance brand. O2 is more of the budget brand and they are owned by Sumo Tumo uh, Rubber Corporation uh, from Japan. So, you know, it's, it's one of those controversial topics. Some people are always gonna ask, how are the cheap Chinese tires? So I would basically rate this in the same class as like a Nankang tire. So I ran Nankangs, I loved them. I rode with in people's car with this tire. It's really not a bad tire. And if you actually cruise out there and look at reviews on it, you're gonna see a little bit of mixed vibes. Uh, one negative thing I will say is it can be kind of noisy at high speeds, so just know that. But for a low budget tire, just for something all season, let's say you're running maybe like a 17, 16 inch wheel, um, you're looking for more of like a 40 series profile, I would recommend something like this if you're just looking for just kind of a daily cruise around tire. It's not gonna be a track tire, it's not a drift tire, it's not an autocross tire, and do not stretch this thing. The sidewall on it is a lot stiffer. So it's just an average basic all season tire, you can't go wrong. It does come in 14 through 19 inch applications, and depending on the size and sidewall and everything, of course, on the tire that you choose, you're going to see a H, V, and W speed ratings, which would cover anything from 130 uh, up to 168. Another cool thing you'll see on this tire is the massive evacuation channel right down the middle here, and then you'll see the lateral sipes, uh, once again, sweeping up, sweeping down, so that's gonna help with the water evacuation. This tire does do pretty good in, the, uh, in anything dry paved but of course, once you get into a little light rain and then uh, I've never personally drove this one in snow, but I went out to see a lot of the reviews. The snow sucks. I mean, it's not a snow tire. Of course, it's an all season, but once again, they're not claiming for this to be an awesome tire in the snow. So if you look up close here, you will see the uh, tire tread indicators. So you'll see these little circles kind of punched in on here. And then you'll see, I'll get a close up. You can see kind of a level down and then another level down. So that's gonna be a very uh, easy tread indicator just to use to see how much life you have left on the tire, which is pretty cool cool and life on these things seems to actually be pretty good once again for a budget tire you can't go wrong so that's the Otsu FP7000 let us know what you think of this one if you guys are rocking it cruise out to fitmentindustries.com you can see this one and others from the Otsu lineup we will catch you guys next week on tire talk peace out